welcome back to the IT Boss YouTube channel. And I hope you're all doing very well. Um, today be, is the beginning of um, our Microsoft Office course, or the complete Microsoft Office course. Um, it's, been an, it's been my uh, George, you know, begin this course, you know, with you guys. So, without which much ado, let's begin with the course. And then also, uh, we are not going to, you know, or this, this class is not going to, you know, this video is not going to be very long. Um, I'm going to, you know, fix a few minutes, you know, Explain um, what Microsoft Office is. No, not so. The versions of Microsoft Office that we have, and I'm not so. Um, and some of the sub applications that we uh, that we uh, have within Microsoft Office that helps us, you know, performing um, uh, our important, uh, you know. All right. So let's begin. The first uh, thing, uh, topic we're going to look at is um, what is Microsoft Office. What is Microsoft Office? So, as you can see, I have uh, two definitions uh, listed, and then the first one is um, it says. It is a suite of applications designed to help with productivity and, compl and, comp and completing of common tasks or completing common tasks on a computer. So if you, can, if you talk about uh, common tasks, you're talking about an important and then bold uh, web tasks. That's um, we, we do using our computer. So this application is what helps us to know uh, do our important you know tasks on a computer on on our computer. I don't know me. So let's look at the scanner uh, uh, definition. It says it is a group of application that helps in performing common tasks and duty. So as you can see the skin definition has given us the simplest definition for Microsoft Office. So Microsoft Office is a group of applications. So there are certain applications that helps us you know perform our important or common tasks on our computer. I forget that. So, it's a group of applications. Understand that. It is a group of applications that will help us in performing any um, tasks that we want to perform on our um, computer. So, with, with this understanding, uh, some of the tasks that we can perform by Microsoft Office, sorry, by Microsoft Office applications are presentations. We can perform by presentations um, using Microsoft Office applications. I hope uh, most of you students in the universities and then, you know, uh, some of uh, the teachers also have this chess you should uh, use um, uh, Microsoft Office applications to perform um, uh, presentations and uh, other stuff. And another um, task that you can, you know, perform with um, 
Microsoft Office application is recording of data. So if I talk of uh, recording of data, uh, data I'm talking of um, uh, let's say if you own, if you own, if you own a shop that you want to you know keep records of the item that you have. Microsoft Office applications are there for you that I can help you to you know keep records of the items that you sell and then also the number or amount of things that you have sold or the, num the number of things that are being sold I don't understand me so let's move on so um, the next uh, topic that we are going to look at is um, the version of Microsoft Office so you see we, uh, we have um, a lot of you know Microsoft um, uh, software that have been released in the previous years. And mind you, Microsoft released releases them um, a new uh, software or a new Microsoft software every four years. They release um, they are newly they are newly uh, let me say updated Microsoft Office app, uh, software every four years. So as I can see below, uh, these are some of the as you said, you know some of the previous versions of Microsoft Office that were being released uh, in the previous years. So we have the Microsoft Office 2007. We also have the Microsoft Office 2010. We also have the Microsoft Office 2013. And then we also have the Microsoft Office 2016. We also, it doesn't end there. These are just a few of them that I, I, I decided to list. But we also have them. Um, Microsoft Office 2019 and um, Microsoft Office 2021. Yeah. So these are some of the issues of the Microsoft Office applications or software that are that were released in, um, in the previous years. As I said earlier, the release new update of the Microsoft Office in every four years. Keep that in your mind. They release their Microsoft will publishes their software, their newly updated software in every four years. So keep that in your mind. Let's move on. Or let's move to the next topic. The next topic we are talking about uh, some of the packet, some of the applications that are found in the Microsoft packet. So, as you can see from the title, uh, package of applications found in Microsoft Office. So, some will be asking, say, what do you mean by all? Uh, uh, master, what do you mean by um, uh, the package? If I mention, if I say the package, you see, for example, when you go out to buy, uh, let's say, an item or um, let's let pick um, this food for instance, when you go out and buy a pizza, when you go to the police, they don't just you know give you the pizza or put the put the pizza in your hand just like that. If I if I'm saying the pizza, I'm talking about the about the food itself. Everyone ask me before they give you the uh, food. The first of all, package the food, which is the pizza, in a box. Everyone ask me they will package it in a box. Before they present it to you, 
have an assignment. So the box itself says so the box and bring it into our lesson that we are learning today. The box stands in for the Microsoft Office as a whole. The Microsoft Office as a whole. That's the packet or the package. And also the PI itself are the applications that are found the product so the product itself and bring it to it to our lesson is the um applications that are found within the mark the market of the fit. So as you can see Below are some of the following uh, applications or sub applications that are found within Microsoft Office. Uh, we have the Microsoft Word, a very wonderful, you know, application there. We have the, uh, the Microsoft PowerPoint. We have the Microsoft Excel, the Microsoft uh, Publisher, and then also we have the Microsoft Access. So these are some of the uh, applications that we have. These are some of the applications that are in the Microsoft Office package as well. That helps us in performing our tax so menu. These are the um, applications that helps us in performing our daily duties on our computer and then you see with this list with this uh, list of uh, each of let me that um, each of these um, uh, things listed here each of them perform different tasks or perform different functions altogether I can understand me. They don't, uh, you know, uh, they don't do the same tasks. They, they perform different, you know, tasks. The Microsoft Word performs a different task. The PowerPoint has a different uh, function or task that it, it does. The Microsoft Excel has its own uses or tasks. That you do the Microsoft Excel, oh, sorry, the Microsoft uh, Publisher also has eight um, tasks that is performs, and also, also the Microsoft Access also has its own uh, functions or uses or tasks that is performed. I hope you understand me. So, the, this list of Microsoft applications. Have each of them has their own thing that they do. They don't they don't they don't do the same, you know, uh, thing. They perform, but they perform different tasks altogether. I have an me. So this is where we want to end our class for today, and then in our next class, which is um, next week. We are going to, you know, dive into what all these, um, you know, uh, applications do or what they, they do. But we are going to take them one after the other. So as you get a declare understanding of it, we are going to take, like, uh, the Microsoft Word, then we are spreading what it does and then also how you can you know work with it then we move on to we move on to the PowerPoint this this is the PowerPoint and then what it does one after the other. So next week we're going to begin with um, the Microsoft Red this of the Microsoft Red and then how you can work with the Microsoft Red I can understand me. So this, with this one, it's going to be a very long uh, class and a very interesting class as well. 
they want to take them one after the other and then go in go deeper in it so as you you guys you guys can uh, you guys can understand what each of these um applications do so without it's much ado they won't join here we are going to end the class here for now and then uh continue by the grace of god next week so stick and stay subscribe to this channel watch the video like the video and, and then also share the video for us thank you very much and see you next week bye